Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss the definite integral of a complex variable depends upon the path frame, the limit z1 to z2 in the complex plane. Generally, a complex definite integral uh, can also be expressed as uh, integral over c f of z dz, where c is the path of the integration. A complex definite integral is also called as complex line integral or simply line integral. We should focus on this specific method in all levels of questions for mains as well as the other competitive exams. Uh, let us get into the details and uh, one more important fact on this specific method is when f of z is an analytic function then integral over uh, the limit z1 to z2 f of z dz is uh, independent of the path from the limits z1 to z2. Here we have to evaluate integral over c f of z dz where f of z y minus x minus i 3x square from the limit z is equal to 0 to z is equals to 1 plus i along the path from 0 0 to 1 0 and to the point 1 1 this is the first path the second path is y equals to x generally we know that z is the complex variable that is in the form of x plus i y we are given that a complex function f of z is y minus x minus i 3 x square basically we need to draw the rough sketch of the paths the first path is from 0 0 to 1 0 0 0 is the origin 1 0 is the point that is lies on x axis at one unit distance and we have the another point 1 1 it is a location of the point 1 1 we have the 0 0 to 1 0 and 1 0 to 1 1 we have given directions and the second path is y is equals to x it is shown on the dotted lines. We need to get the value of integral over c f of z dz that is integral over o a plus integral over a b f of z dz. So, for this we consider on the path o a it is y a here y is equals to 0 then complex variable z becomes x since y is 0 here z is equals to x means dz equals to dx then f of z becomes y 0 minus x minus i 3 x square Therefore, integral over O a f of z dz is here the limits x vary from 0 to 1 f of z negative x negative i 3 x square dx. Negative 1 is common factor x integration x square by 2 3 x square integration the x cube by 3 consider the limits between 0 and 1 on simplification we have obtained negative 1 times 1 by 2 plus i it is only the result of integral f of z dz along the path oa coming to the second path the rest of the path ab here x is equals to 1 fixed it is a line x is equals to 1 then the complex variable z becomes 1 plus i y since x is 1 which implies that dz i dy 
since constant derivative is zero one can clearly observe that y varies from 0 to 1 let us consider integral over ab f of z dz integral 0 to 1 f of z dz y negative x is 1 here negative 3i since x is 1 dy since dz is i dy i is the constant outside of the integration y integration with respect to y y square by 2 negative 1 plus 3 i is constant one integration with respect to y is y consider the limits between 0 and 1 on simplification we have i times of 1 by 2 minus 1 plus 3 i that is i times of negative of negative 3 i which gives us negative i by 2 plus 3. Therefore, integral over c f of z dz is the sum of integral over o a f of z dz plus integral over a b f of z dz. Thus, the value of integral over c f of z dz is the first result negative of negative i the second result e to i by 2 plus 3 which gives us 5 e to 3 i by 2. The second sub problem is we need to find integral over c f of z along the line y equals to x. Here y is equals to x means the complex variable z is x plus i y that is x plus i x since y is x x common factor we have 1 plus i times of x and we have the complex function f of z is y here y is x negative x negative i 3x square x x cancelled negative i 3x square is the function f of z z is 1 plus i times x i times of x dz 1 plus i times of dx here the second variable y is converted into x we can see the limits of x from 0 to 1 therefore integral over c f of z dz is integral 0 to 1 f of z negative i3x square dz 1 plus i times dx here negative i times of 1 plus i is the constant 3x square integration 3 times x cube by 3 consider the limits between 0 and 1 that equals to negative i times of 1 plus i on simplification we have obtained 1 negative i therefore integral over c f of z dz along the path y is equals to x is 1 negative i uh, this is the process to obtain integral over c f of z dz along the path y is equals to x as well as along from the vertex 0 0 to another vertex 1 0 and to the another vertex 1 1.